Hey guys, so look, guess what? Deep Ellum is beautiful. It was misty earlier, but baby. It's lit up now. Smooth June said a prayer. I said, God, can you please make the sun come out? You know, rain, rain, go away, come Excuse again me. another day. And guess what, y'all? Yeah, Listen, I'm trying to tell y'all strong prayers. Prayers always work. Y'all be playing. God works in mysterious ways. Y'all better start believing in that man. Believe you better believe that God that make part. it happen. God make it happen for real, for real. I remember was in school and they used to try to talk about something we couldn't pray. I was in a Christian school. I cannot not pray. Anyway, we're not going to go into that subject. We're going to keep it pushing. So listen, still out here with my guy, I Am Legend. Um, <laughs> getting it in. Guess what, you guys? And we're talking about his music. Um, and you know his producer we're talking about his producer back at dogs we you know we moved from there yeah yeah and, and, and i had a little bit more tequila so it's all right listen let me tell you i'm wrong i don't care I care about none of that but listen <laughs> i want this i am legend himself to tell me at what age as a kid did he realize that he was going to become an artist a a pop an r&b because he's not a rapper he said <laughs> <laughs> i am not i am not <laughs> So yeah, at what age did you realize that, you know, you was made to, you know, do music and you were made for this lifestyle? Uh, it was when my mama was at church. She was singing in church. She used to call us up there. She would hold our hand. I used to watch her sing. And I just look at her like, I want to do that. And I knew that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Like I wanted to do it. So I went to an R. Kelly concert. R. Kelly, my oh, man. Oh my God. I'm just saying, I went, to, a, I went to an R. Kelly concert and I seen him singing and had R. Kelly, Ice Cube up there. And I was like, I won't do that because I watched the crowd. Everybody was going fucking crazy. I was like, yeah. I won't do that. Yeah. So when I told the dude, I did it. So I started off singing. I was a singer first. Yeah. Then I ended up being a dancer. And then I ended up being a rapper. Wait, wait, wait. You was a dancer? Mm -hmm. So you used to Yeah, this. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all already know. Listen, I'm raw and it's all about fun. It's all about you. So how long did you dance? Wait. Yeah, man, I'm dancing for like four or five years. Real? That's what I used to do. We used to dance all the time. So wait, so so you you, you choreograph as well too? Yeah, we used to do it all. So you multi tag I can do it all. Wait, you multi talented I'm talking about some multi tag You multi talented Yeah. Are, are you gonna bust out some moves in your music video? Maybe. Show us, show us one more time. No, you got the whole tape. Hey. Oh. <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do, man. That's gonna be the new day. That's gonna be the new day. You gotta get on TikTok. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's gonna be the new day. It's gonna be on TikTok. But you definitely gotta get on TikTok and make that a trend. That's gonna be the day. You gotta make that a trend. Oh, and I write books, too. Oh, you write books? Books? I wrote a book called Cupid's Concern, and I wrote a book called Black Velvet. Okay, what are they about? Black Velvet is basically about a woman who got cheated on by her man. Her man, so she got cheated got cheated on by her man. Mm -hmm. uh, and what was the outcome next? He got murdered. Oh, okay. <laughs> How much that book? I want to get it. It's on Amazon right now. Oh, that's dope. That's, that's dope. Right okay, now, okay. Right Black, uh, Black Velvet, man. Check it out. And what's the name of it again? Black Velvet. Y'all make sure y'all go on Amazon right now. Right now and download Black, Black Velvet. Velvet. Go get the book. Listen, her nigga cheated on her. And he got murdered. I think you shouldn't have played with her like that. Uh, right there. <laughs> like literally, like oh my gosh, okay. But so, not only are you an artist and you're out here like you know making dope music, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're a choreographer. You know you got the moves and the horns, everything like that. That's then also you're a writer. Yeah. So like all that time, where do you get it from? How do you how do how do how do you multitask each level because as an artist, people don't understand. It's, it's like you are, you do the music, you do the writing. How do you pretty much? How how do you do each each one of your tasks that you're doing? I, I do a day, like a day. Like I might have one day strictly for music, next day for writing, the next day for whatever I want to do. I just pick a day. But if I'm in the music zone, the other creativities they just sit back because I got to get shit done. You know what I mean? Like, so, so you basically do your music how we do exercises, leg day, arm day, That's ab day. Yeah, like I pick okay. a day. So when I pick a day, I get it done and I gotta wake up every day doing something with music. If it's not posting, if it's not making a video for something, if it's not doing music, if it's not reaching out to you, it's something I have to do with music each day, even if it's just 15 minutes. Right. All right, 15 minutes for music. All right, what you finna do with the book? All right, what you finna do with this? What you finna do with that? After that, I'm done. 
Oh yeah, that's <laughs> dedication right there. I just get done, and some days I just get tired. I mean, I'm gonna go to work, I'm tired. I mean, shit, I'm tired. So I just take a risk and be like, fuck everybody. Now, Bri, you definitely gotta take a risk and say, fuck everybody. I'm definitely a witness today. I'm the most stupid person in the world. Yeah. But I salute you for everything that you're doing out here, you know, with the crafts and everything. I didn't even know. I mean, you never know unless you ask or anything like that. And I'm telling y'all, let me tell y'all one more thing. Let me just tell y'all one thing. People don't know y'all business unless y'all tell them. Listen, That's people don't crazy. know shit unless you tell them. So be careful about what you tell them because I know you will go goddamn for grab <laughs> Listen, I want to go a little bit deeper. So, out in California, you actually got linked in with some um, actual labels, yeah. like some record labels and everything yeah. like that. Elaborate a little bit on the labels. I, got, um, I worked with uh, In The Cut Records. That was like my first, no, that was my second record contract I had. And I got to do songs with some good people out there, and it was cool. I mean, California, I ain't gonna lie, California brought more of an artistic flow. Yeah. Because it, it's too much diversity. Yeah. You go out there, everything sounds different. Nobody sounds alike. Nobody sounds alike in California. Yeah, so, but the labels, the labels in the cut records, it was cool. Jimmy Weaver, he signed me, but I fucked it up because I was wild and got in trouble with jail. What were you doing? Stupid nigga shit. Stupid nigga shit. <laughs> stupid oh my shit. gosh, what is stupid, stupid nigga, nigga shit? shit. I, you know, I'm gonna get in your business. I'm where I was doing stupid what nigga you shit. Doing? Can you elaborate? Were you robbing, were you robbing nigga? I didn't rob nobody. Were you stealing? I didn't steal nothing. Were you stealing a little drugs? Just, just a little bit. Just a little just bit. A little okay, bit. that's all we need to know. Just, just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> stupid nigga shit. I don't know. It's like, it's like. You were trying to survive? Trying to survive. I don't think all the good times. I was trying to survive. So, I mean. Was that before or after you was choreographing them to dance? That was way before. <laughs> <laughs> that was after. Well, you changed after. your life. Yeah, I just Give me five. I just you know woke what? up one day and said, fuck it, let's change it around. So that, 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 that's what it matters. That's all that matters. You know what? Yeah. So, so, okay, so how long were you actually with the record label, the record label out in California? Two weeks. <laughs> Two weeks? Two weeks. Look. As soon as I got, hey. the, as soon as I got signed, I started fucking up. I started because I was young and wild. Like, all right, I'm finna go do this. I went to jail and called him. Like, man, you gonna bail me out? Thinking I'm Tupac. He's like, I just signed you. I'm not gonna bail you out for that right now. So, so was there a signing deal or a signing bonus or what? It was just a signing paper. Ah. Uh. So I fucked it up. I mean, sometimes we get in our own way. Technically, you didn't fuck it up. Next stop, come on. <laughs> Let's go. Because, because, yeah. <laughs> With no Whoa. paper behind it. That no God, was, God saved your life by the end of the day. Hey, I'm glad you Love did. that record label. But listen, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, okay, so after the two weeks, did you end up coming out to Dallas or? Mm -mm. How, how was stayed, it? I stayed out there for 13 years. I didn't come to Dallas until I came back from Hawaii. Okay, so you lived in Hawaii? In Hawaii. So you got a lot Hawaii? of shit. I'm not telling my camera. Where you went? Now you lived in Hawaii? Yeah, I lived in Hawaii for like a year and a half. Oh my God, so the 808. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, y'all know. Y'all, y'all smooth, you she know. know. She knows, she knows, she knows. Ah. She knows. She knows. My girl Cheryl from the 808, baby. Hawaii all day, every day. Mm -hmm. So, explain Hawaii a little bit. Were you able to still, you know, produce music? Yeah. And, no. Uh, no. Hawaii was a place uh, where I just got, I got to know me more. Okay. I, I needed I needed a break from everybody because too many people knew me. And, and I was like, I feel like I was about to have a nervous breakdown. So, I was yeah. like, I need to go to Hawaii. And nobody knew me. So it was perfectly fine. I got more structure with me spiritually and mentally. So I was like, this is where I need. After you left Hawaii, where you go? Here. There we go. After he left Hawaii, he came, came on right to, the to the deep. Listen, gate. he been here for five years, so y'all already know it's something out here in Dallas. We can do this, y'all. We can stick together. We can make it as a whole, y'all. Listen, it can't be done. Cause I was from the Fort Worth, and then I still be out here in Dallas. We out here in Deep Ellen right now. Hope they don't shoot me. Come on, let's go. <laughs> 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 this the daytime. <laughs> Uh, I said this is the daytime. We good. Yeah, we this good. Is, this is the daytime. We Everything good. happened at nighttime. Listen, y'all. Listen, let me tell y'all something. First of all, shout out to Hello Vision. Listen, let me tell y'all something. My guy's out here with the camera. And he yes. is rolling. Yeah, he listen, it's yeah, nothing yeah. wrong with giving your people credit. Give people credit when it's due. Yeah, put the camera back on yourself. What yeah. are you doing? Hello Period. Vision. Yeah. Back, 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 back. The real smooth doom media. <laughs> <laughs> they done took our account so many times. They we've been trying to play with her. <laughs> Y'all so many times, six times. Listen, let me tell y'all something. Smooth you Account number two. six? That's what? why it's time six. Six, six X. Listen, they didn't just take Smooth Media. They took Smooth Media live, too. 
They took Smooju Media live. Listen, y'all, listen. Let me tell y'all. It went. I went again. I don't know. Let me tell y'all something. I guess I was going to this guideline too much. It's okay. Let, let me tell y'all something. I'm back and I'm better. What you said? You had to go to Hawaii. You had to take a break. Why? Yeah, I needed to reconstruct myself. You need to reconstruct yourself. Mm -hmm. Nigga, what? That's what we had to do. <laughs> I've been in that gym. Tell me I don't look good. Looking good. You've been in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Hair growing, bitch. Eyebrows thick. Flourishing. Bitch, playing with me, y'all. Make sure y'all self care is everything. Self care matters. I don't care. Well, don't let nobody stop that shit. Self care matters. I don't give a fuck if you make twelve hundred dollars grossly every two weeks. You better fucking take a hundred, two hundred dollars that shit and go get yourself pampered. Uh, right. That ass, pay them bills. Uh, you gotta get yourself pampered, y'all. I love y'all. I swear to God, I do. I promise. And I, I wouldn't be smooth, June, if I wouldn't be telling y'all this. But take some time out for yourself. You matter. Oh, hey, yo, 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 yo. This is the first place I came to when I came to Dallas to the Legacy Studio. What's up to I Am Music? What's up, dude? St. Louis guy. This is the first place I recorded it. Did my music in. First one. I love this spot. It's good energy here. So it's good. It's good. Legacy Music Group, like. Yeah. We can't go in, huh? No, we can't go in. I God damn, that means it's exclusive. You gotta hey. book. You gotta. They say book this motherfucker. Two one four three seven seven nine seven two nine. You gotta book in advance. You gotta book in, in advance. advance. So we can't even go in. But listen, y'all, we gonna call them and we gonna book. So we go in. But I know what we gonna do. We gonna come in on one of your sessions or whatever. So listen, I remember before we were, we got way over here on this side of town. Y'all already know I'm this, this this supernatural whatever. This we was talking about management. So. Once you live in Hawaii, you get your head and everything like that, you came on over here to Dallas or whatever. So, since you've been in Dallas, what management companies and what management teams have you worked out here with out here in Dallas? The only one person I worked with that was Coach Drake. What's up to Coach Drake? I met him and, you know, he gave me some game, laced some shoes up real good. And, you know, after that, we kind of split ways. Wasn't no deal wheel. We just moved different. So, you know what I mean? So, I ended up meeting her. I mean, if I met her, I mean, her stay tight like that, dude. So, that's what it was. Just elaborate. Elaborate on working with Coach Dre. How how was it? Like exactly what did you guys do? How did how did how did it change your music career for the better? Well, I mean, he, he's a very um, innovative, motivating person. You know what I mean? He has an idea. He runs with it. He shoots with it. He goes with it. So I mean, just sit back, watching and learning what he did. I gotta say, he's a good guy to work with. But if we were just moving to different type of spaces and reads, so like I say, no ill will. Go through that sometimes. So, wasn't that bad? But he was a good dude. Yeah, I already, you know me, I don't work with a lot of people, I don't work with uh, head up and head down. Shout out to Coach Drake, Coach Drake is a good person, course. Coach Drake is out here to help the best and the world be a better place. Listen, let me tell you guys something, it has been a great day, I have enjoyed uh, my entire interview yeah, yeah. with I Am Legend and my guy Hello Vision, I love that he talks behind the camera, that's I amazing. Know. Listen, there is nothing more of uh, natural energy. That's that's what I mean, natural energy, nothing. Like all that editing, like yeah, he gonna edit it, like yeah. yeah. Like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Yeah. You know, follow me. Where, where can we find you? Six, you know, all that, all that, but it's still natural energy. But listen, y'all, guess what? 2020, we went to like, we went through a different, a different life. Like COVID changed all of our lives. It did, it did something different for us, you know. And it made it to where, as of now, I'm just happy and I'm just blessed to wake up each and every day. I just want you to tell my audience, your audience, everybody else's audience, the impact and the positivity that you have now that COVID has came. We don't even know if we still in it. Nah, we don't like, know. we don't know if we were supposed to be taking, like, them goddamn things, you know, the, the, the shots. Shot. I ain't took that Whatever. Shot. But how did it impact your life and how did it make you a better person? I mean, it, with the impact, one, they had everybody scared and shit, but I wasn't scared. I stayed praying to God. So I was like, I was perfectly fine with my mask, my logic, but for me, it just put me in a box where I can focus, really, really, really focus on what type of artist I am, what type of artist I want to be. So I was perfectly fine. It didn't bother me nothing. It didn't bother me nothing. So now I'm just focused on releasing the song I got coming up, Heartbreak, that's releasing the 22nd of this month, videos on top of the world. You gonna be in there dance like this? Yeah, for me. What's the name of the song? Heartbreak. The song that's releasing on 4, 22, 22. So, so, so did somebody break your heart or what? Yeah, it was a long story. I got my heart broken. Oh, I got my heart broken. How long ago did you do it for? Five years. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your heart been broke five years? Five years have been broken. No, you it was, you it recover, right? No, I just broke. 
<laughs> like two years ago. I mean, I really don't. I'm, I really don't tap into those emotions. But one day I just said, "Why not?" I wanted to make something that's authentic. Because the, the older you get, you gotta tap into the yeah, tap emotions. Into the emotions. So I just did that. So heartbreak, heartbreaking is heartbroken is coming out. Top of the world is coming out. Shot by S the shooter. Heartbroken video. I shot myself in the room by myself. Shot it by yourself? In the room. In the room. In the room. What? Yeah. And you was like, yeah, yeah, heartbroken, about to get it, yeah, yeah, don't creep, hurt this motherfucker. Uh, like, no, yeah. <laughs> Make sure y'all go download Heartbroken 422 2022. I am Legend, yeah. Smooth Joe Media, Hollow Vision, Kobe, 19. Wear your fucking mask. <laughs> Deep fella. Deep fella. Deep fella. In the daytime. Every yeah, day. when they not shooting, but in the nighttime, get y'all motherfucking ass to the grill.